Season 1 of The Simpsons aired on Fox from December 17, 1989 to May 13, 1990, with a total of 13 episodes, starting The Simpsons roasting on open fire and ending with some enchanted evening. And today, I will be ranking all 13 episodes in this season from my least favorite to favorite. Now, I'm ranking these episodes on how much I would watch these over another. Would I rather watch this one or this one? One I would go watch is higher in the list and will be later in the video, and the lower ones are earlier in the video. This is just my list. Take it with a grain of salt. Now let's rank them. Starting with number 13, Homer's Night Out. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the Marriage Crisis episodes, but there are a few exceptions. Sadly, this is not one of them. Strictly for the reason that Marge is being angry at Homer. It's somewhat idiotic. Homer was dancing next to a girl, not even with her, but Marge says that's not the reason. It's because he's treating women as a whole like objects, which I don't really get. How is dancing next to a woman treating all women like objects? Although the ending is alright, but why is Marge at the club? Number 12, The Creeps of Wrath. Now, when I hear Bart goes to France and the Simpsons get a transfer student, I think that sounds very interesting. But then I watched the episode, and I thought, huh, this is very boring, as there is not much going on. And it seems that everyone in this episode is against Bart until around the third act, and by that time the episode's almost over. I would expect that from a modern episode, but not season one. Although... I do really enjoy the B plot with Adele. Being a totally different character from Bart, at the end of the day, I wouldn't go out of my way to watch this episode. Number 11, Some Enchanted Evening. This episode is just boring to me. Although some of the animation is very fun, kind of like this scene. Fun fact, the animation was originally so bad that they had to redo it. Crazy enough, this was going to be the first episode, but due to the animation, it was adjusted and made as the last episode of the season. Other than that, there's not too much else to say about this episode. Moving on to number 10, Bartha Genius. From here on out is where I start to really enjoy the episodes and simply not be bored. Bartha Genius, I believe, is a good episode. I really enjoyed the story about how Bart and Homer are getting closer together. Although, the ending of Homer wanting to strangle Bart, well, Kind of makes him act like a Kujibo. It was a bit harsh. The school scenes are just okay. But I really enjoy the callback to the hamsters running across the floor after the explosion. All in all, it's a pretty good episode. Number 9, Homer's Odyssey. This episode is surprisingly dark, as it is the third episode of the series. As Homer is fired from his job and can't work anymore, he tries to kill himself. Yeah, I told you it was dark. After this part of the story, it's much more fun and lighthearted. I like all the visual gags in this episode, like the newspaper headlines getting more annoyed, and the people in the crowd. My favorite is this guy with the bandana. You can really tell that this one was one of the earlier episodes that they made. Like, look at the crowd shot again. It looks like a bunch of ice cream scoops, and look at the backgrounds. Not the best episode to look at, but it makes up for it with this story. Number 8. Life on the Fast Lane. Remember how I said I don't like the Homer and Marge marriage crisis episodes? This is an exception. I like this episode as it shows a marriage crisis, but the other side of the story. In this season, this is Marge's only focus episode, and I think it does it right. Having Marge be out of her comfort zone and be tempted by another man, but then at the end choosing Homer, I think it works great. And may I just say, anytime Jacques was on screen, I was most likely laughing. He's one of those characters that I would like to see more of, but I'm also glad that they didn't use a lot. You know, this episode isn't something I would expect from season 1. Now that I think about it, it's very similar to an episode of season 5. The episode, The Last Temptation of Homer, but it's just Marge instead of Homer. Huh. Number 7. The Call of the Simpsons. The first two acts of this episode are great. Homer sees Ned by... A new RV and gets jealous so he wants to buy one himself. The RV salesman Bob is hilarious by the way. 
then the Simpsons get lost in the woods, and Homer and Bart try to find their way back to civilization. But when the world mistakes Homer for Bigfoot is where I kind of lose interest. It's just so wild. I like the family episodes that focus on the family and relatable things that go on in their lives and everybody else's. It's not every day you get mistaken for Bigfoot. But I do like the Maggie side plot. So, overall, it's a better than average episode. Number six, which is actually the first episode of The Simpsons. Simpsons roasting on open fire. Now I'll keep this one short, as I've already given my thoughts on this episode in detail in another video. Check it out if you want. But I really enjoy watching this episode. It's a very nice Homer and Bart story. And it shows how much Homer does care for his family. I miss this, Homer. Before I share with you my top 5 episodes from Season 1, please, subscribe and like the video. It helps me out a lot and lets me know that you want to see more videos like this one. Now on to the top 5. Number 5. There's no disgrace like home. Ah, yes. The shock therapy episode. Everything in this episode works. But it doesn't really feel like a Simpsons episode, if you know what I mean. The main contributing factor to this is Homer. He acts very out of character in this episode. In any other season, we would never see Homer on the TV for therapy. But it still works, and I still enjoy watching it. Marvin Monroe scenes are always a laugh. Just one question. Why is Maggie hooked up to the machine? Number four, Krusty gets busted. This is the first spotlight episode for a secondary character, being Krusty the Clown, and to a lesser extent, Sideshow Bob. I always like the mystery episodes of The Simpsons. They're always entertaining for me, whether it's this or Who Shot Mr. Burns. Anyway, they're always very entertaining. And Kelsey Grammer in this episode is brilliant. Whoever chose him as the voice actor for Sideshow Bob deserves their own award. Moving on to number three, Moaning Lisa. I don't really know what it is about this episode that makes me like it so much. But I just do. Bleeding gums is great, and Lisa being sad is something so complicated, but yet so minimal, that it just works very well with her character. And Marge trying to make Lisa happy, but then spinning the car around, is great. And the music is just amazing. Number 2. The Telltale Head When I initially watched this episode, I thought it was just alright. But every time I watch it, I like it a little bit more. It just reminds me of the simplicity of elementary school, where you would do almost anything to impress somebody. Or just be cool. And the childlike wonder of the cloud watching is very fun too. As you could probably tell, I really like the Homer and Bart episodes, as Homer and Bart is one of my favorite character combinations on The Simpsons. This episode is phenomenal. But my favorite episode is number one, Bart the General. Bart and Abe are the best. They play off of each other so well, and when Abe introduces Herman to Bart, it just makes the episode way better. It is taking a schoolyard rivalry, which is very little, and making it something way more. It's amazing. Also, this episode introduced Nelson. So that easily makes it better. I don't think I'm going to do this episode justice. You should just go watch it, and you'll see what I mean. Anyway, thanks for watching. And tell me your list down below in the comments. I'll see you next time.